on January 20th, 2013. This is Social Lesson number three, Raising Partners Major New Game. Greeting Bridge friends, Michael here at Bridge Hands, and welcome you to our continuing saga where we're taking a look at Raising Partners Major. Now when partner opens a major, one heart or one spade, they have five cards or more in that suit and 12 to 21 points. We as responder can do one of several bids. When we are supporting partners major, we could go one heart to two hearts, which would be a six to nine points, maybe a very good five point hand. And it's a sign off bid. Unless partner has 19 to 21 points, we don't have 25 points or more for a game. One heart, three hearts, invitational to game, where we're saying we have 10 to maybe a bad 12, we're highly inviting game. And if partner has more than a minimum, 12 to 14 points, they should accept. Now we're going to take a look at situations where we as responder want to force game. There's a couple of variations. The typical one is where we have 12 points or more, a good 12, 13 points or so, maybe on up to 16 points, and we're going to want to bid game. Now in standard American and other systems, we don't generally go one spade to four spades. That would be a very weak end where we would maybe have less than eight points or so and have five cards in partner's suit, that major one heart or one spade that they open in. We're going to take a look at some other situations, though, where we have extra distribution points based upon short side suits. You'll recall we have lots of ways to make extra tricks. There was finessing, there was suit promotion, and there was roughing. We're going to take a look at all of those today and more. So you're ready? We have more than a handful of hands, so let's get started. Okay, on our first hand south is the dealer and has a 5332. In spades, jack, eight, seven, five times. Not the best suit, but it is the master suit. Okay, in diamonds, much better. King, queen, eight spot, three times. In clubs, eight spot, three times. And in hearts, that's better, ace, king, tight. Don't you wish that ace, king of hearts were just a small doubleton? You can move them over to the spade suit. Right, you could have a suit you could promote. Oh well, we still have opening values, seven for the hearts, another five points for the king, queen of diamonds and maybe one-ish point for the jack five times in spades, so enough to open. One spade it is. Over to the west hand, a four triple three flat, pad and cake, hand. Six high card points, but lots of tens and nines and eights, but no bid. Okay, over to the north hand, it's a five, four, three, one. Five diamonds, four hearts, three spades, and a singleton club. Well, that's a lovely hand. We have two aces and a ace-queen three times of spades. So six in spades. Uh, diamonds, ace five times, another four and maybe one distribution is the 11-ish points. Uh, the jack four times of hearts could be worth a point 12. And for sure, some roughing points, maybe a couple points roughing values, but don't count too many because you have to use these trumps also for getting the opponent's trump out. But ace Queen three times looks like a reasonable amount to make sure we're going to bid the game. But don't bid game directly. If you go to four spades, that shows a weak hand with five trump or more. In this case, if partner south has 21 and we've got about 13 points or more, uh, we could miss slam if we go right to four spades. So we want to bid two diamonds. Even if we had a four card suit, if we have a four card minor, we could bid two of that minor, even with less than five, and then next time show four spades, which is what we're going to do here. Two diamonds it is. Over in the east hand, ace, king, ten, six times in clubs, um, king, double ten of spades, and uh, a double ten and a triple ten in the red suits, no, no bid. To south, well, you've heard partner north bid two diamonds, it's a forcing bid. Uh, you don't want to rebid spades, that shows a six card suit. You could bid two no trump, even though hmm, you have just three babies, essentially, in the club suit. It is a balanced hand, and if your partner's got ten points or more, they probably will have some stoppers in the clubs, you would think, but maybe not. So since they bid diamonds, yes, they might only have a four-card suit, but since we have our honor concentration in those red suits, maybe we ought to bid three diamonds on a rebid, and three diamonds it is. A pass into north. Now it's four spades. No, we don't want to play in a five diamond contract. We do have an eight card golden fit in a major and we bid it now belatedly for spades. The auction passes out and the opening lead is by west. What do you want to lead there? 
Well, probably the queen from Queen Jack Nine of Clubs, or I suppose Jack of Diamonds from Three, although since the opponents both bid that suit, I don't much like that. Do you? No. So it could maybe even be the Ten of Hearts from an interior sequence. Uh, take a look at our lessons on opening leads. We have some pulling you series on those. But in this case, we're going to be leading the Queen of Clubs. Okay, the Queen comes out. Uh, there's a singleton in the north hand. Over in east, they play an encouraging six. No reason to overtake it. And in south, we play a small. Okay, so it looks like everybody sees the north hand and the dummy. It's probably a switcheroo time to another suit. So what, maybe a trump? Yeah, since there's shortage in the north hand, and they're going to start roughing, we can see that. Let's play and see if our partner has the king. And they do. They had the king. So the king did turn out to be valuable after all. It wasn't an ace-queen held by south. It was the north this time. Well, that was fortuitous. So when our partner has an idea, unless we have something better, flatter them and return the suit that they played, spades. So, okay, a spade back, and we win with the queen in the dummy. Well, that isn't exactly what we had in mind, was it? We wanted to rough a couple of the bit. Well, we couldn't use them both ways, and therein lays part of the lesson. When you have honor concentration in the trump suit and shortage, which way do you want to use them? Be careful not to double count them. And we'll see more of that in a future hand. Okay, so that wasn't exactly what we were hoping for, so maybe we can promote this diamond suit, can't we? We've got ace, king, queen, and a five and a three is eight card suit. So if they fall three, two, which they do most of the time, I mean, we're going to be in good shape, aren't we? So, okay, this declare decides to go ahead and play the ace. We'll see some other scenarios coming soon. So ace and it gets the last trump. They were 3-2, and a small heart is played by the east hand. Okay, here we go. Now play these diamonds carefully. Remember, we play the high card in the short side. That means don't play the ace first. You want to play the king-queen first of diamonds, and then play a small up to the ace. Then you can go ahead and, on those last two diamonds, Pitch a couple from the other hand, like the losing clubs, right? We've lost two. We don't want to lose two more. So we're hoping to pitch our losing clubs on the north hand when we promote it. Okay, so we need transportation, and that's the way we do it. So we play a low diamond to the short side, meaning the short number of diamonds, and we have shorter in the south. We win with the king. We then go ahead and play a spade, just to kind of keep everybody honest there, see if they're going to pitch something. They pitch a heart and a club, no big deal. We now play the queen of diamonds, and fortunately, they both followed. It wasn't a 4-1 against us, which is 1 in 4, 28% of the time. So, okay, we're going to be in good shape. We play the 8 up to the ace. The jack falls, and a club is played on one the other side. So on the last two diamonds, we pitch a club. We pitch another club, and we go ahead and come back to our hearts and our last trump, and we have 11 tricks. Oh, that turned out very nice, didn't it? So the auction, one spade, two diamonds, probably not two no trump. Some of you may feature that. Your partner may have a stopper. I would say that if you had, rather than this king, queen of diamonds, if you had queen three times in clubs, or king three times in clubs, or king doubleton in clubs, I would do two no trump, even with queen doubleton. But in this situation, I would just as soon play in standard American instead bid three diamonds. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next hand. Well, okay, bridge friends, this completes lesson number three on raising partners major to game. Now, let's go ahead and have a brief recap. First off, we saw the value of Trump as responder. Our partner opened a five-card major. We have three. Maybe on a good day, we have four Trump and we have a short side suit. We wouldn't want a four triple three, but we have shortness, maybe a doubleton, a singleton, a couple doubletons. We have extra opportunities for roughing. Okay, number two, when we have double counting, that can be a problem. If we have all trump honors and shortness, are the honors worth their values for pulling trump, or are they worth points for shortness? Can't be worth both, can they? We saw an issue of that. When we have a weak responder's hand and five trumps in partner's major, in other words, we have ten trump together or more, 
we want to normally bid game, at least with neutral vulnerability. This is a preemptive bid and it lacks the normal game values. With 12 points or more, distribution points that is, and Trump support, we would instead make some type of an artificial temporizing bid, such as maybe two clubs or two diamonds. Or maybe an artificial bid if you play the Jacoby 2 no Trump system uh, for no Trump Blackwood and so on. When the opponents have a long Trump stack on defense, we should be careful not to crash honors with our partner. So if we have maybe ace three times and our partner is a singleton king, well, we saw that one today. Now, lacking other entries to promote a long side suit, be careful to unblock the side with the shorter length. In other words, first play the top honors on the short side, then finally playing a low card entry to ensure transportation to the promoted side suit and madly start pitching your losers. Okay, tap declares Trump suit when you suspect that they are going to be planning to gain extra tricks by roughing losers in that dummy. Now aside from roughing, finessing, and promotion plays, perhaps a squeeze play might generate extra tricks. Perhaps you might be able to play out all of your trump tricks and force an opponent behind you to discard a, uh, a busy card winner before you need to play a card from the hand after the squeezed opponent, such as the dummy as we saw today. Well, I hope these lessons were helpful for you today. We look forward to seeing you again real soon at our next bridge lesson. So, as always, have a great drinking, playing bridge, and happy bridge trails to you. Bye for now.